All right, this time we're going to talk about teeth whitening. It's probably one of the most common things that are done for cosmetic dentistry in a dental office, yet there's a lot of confusion out there. And so I'm hoping to clarify the way things work and why your previous attempts may not be as successful as you had hoped. There are three basic physical properties when we're dealing with teeth whitening. There's the gel concentration, there's the duration of the treatment, and the frequency. We'll look at each one individual. Gel concentration, the legal limit that you can buy at the grocery store or many stores is over the counter is 9%. Many times they will display a different percentage, but it's a different combination. But as it breaks down into a workable substance, 9% is, is the legal limit. So in a dental office, many times we distribute things in the 15 to 20% range, maybe 22 even, uh, a little bit more concentrated than what you get at the store. Uh, but is under what we call the supervision of a dentist. Not directly because you're doing usually at home, but we can distribute uh, a little bit higher percentage for, for that. We do have in-office procedures. Usually those percentages are in the 35 to 55% range. Very strong and can have some side effects. And that's why we usually don't give you the, the gel to take home at that strength for fear of damaging the, the gum tissues. The papilla, the little pointy part between the teeth, called the papilla can be burned chemically if we're not careful. So duration, I think we would all agree that 30 minutes is not the same thing as maybe eight hours. There are products out there on the market that say that they are just as good as any other product, and if not better, because you only need 30 minutes to have things work. Um, it's a little bit misleading because truthfully, if the tray isn't fabricated correctly, the uh, peroxidases in our saliva will break down the gel and make it completely useless and usually takes about 30 minutes for that to happen. So they're not lying when they say our gel is just as good as the other company and but we only need 30 minutes because what they're saying is your saliva is breaking down our product just like any other product. So the tray design is a key factor and that's why uh, I tell patients the tray is there mostly to protect the gel from your saliva. Uh, saliva has these peroxidases that breaks it down. Uh, most offices use a material that is, is insufficient or inferior. Uh, it's got to be rigid, not flexible. So a litmus test to see if maybe the tray that you got in another office isn't correct is if it's a very flexible material, then it's not as good. It should be rigid. Now, rigid does allow you to also be a very thin material. So these uh, are very, very comfortable. So in the example here, the picture shows the uh, ordinary tray. Now, sometimes they may trim somewhat, but it tends to be a fairly rough type of a trimming uh, effort there. But it goes up, as you can see, it goes up onto the gums. This is not protecting the gums from the gel because it's on, on the tissue itself. They should be scalloped. It should be no, none of the tray material should go up onto the gum tissues. But it, it needs to be designed in such a way that uh, it's very, very tight and snug to the, to the enamel at, right along the gum line. And so there's a, a special way to make the trays so they can do that. There needs to be room for the gel itself. And so we create what we call reservoirs. And this is an, a, an example of a resin uh, reservoir that's being used. And the, the tray material is, is done over that. As you can see along the gum line of the, uh, on the model is not covered with the blue, allowing the, the product to go very, very close to the tissues. We also then scrape some of the stone away from that area, that, that white stripe right along the gum line, so that when the material is sucked down onto the, the stone, it's actually smaller than our natural tooth structure. So that will help pr protect the gel from, from the peroxidases. So in my office, I tell people they have four basic options. There's over-the-counter strips. I recommend if you've never done whitening before, to perhaps check out the uh, what you can get at the, at the store. If a $40 solution makes your teeth whiter and satisfies you, then I think that's the best way to go. I would certainly hate to go for that makes your teeth the whitest that they can possibly get if you were just simply looking for a lighter shade than, than you've got. It's a lot less complicated if you're just trying to go whiter than if you're trying to get your teeth to be the whitest. So the 3D Crest White Strips is a very common product out there. Now, there are regular take-home trays that many offices give away for free. They're usually worth what you've paid. Uh, Zoom and other in-office single-visit in-office systems are a great way to start the process, but I think by themselves is not as effective as other things. And then what we offer is what's called the core method. And the core whitening system 
is I think the most superior way to get teeth white. It's not a product as much as it is a method. And so the description here is it's really, it's the only method that I stand behind in my office. And we start with a zoom. We do an, a zoom in office procedure just to condition the enamel, just to get the ball rolling. And then we use unique take home trays to use. And then we do another final in office procedure that's not light assisted to finish off the, the, the treatment. Uh, it may require making some fillings and crowns over again. Uh, things that used to match no longer match as shown in the picture. So the core system gives you, uh, has quite a few products with, with part of that. And examples of poor trays. This is one that's not custom. It was customized usually by the patient at home. The silicone there is softened and then the, the patient bites into the product. Uh, this is a, an example of a tray that was made in another office that was just trimmed straight across. So wasn't protecting the, the gum tissue from uh, exposure to the, the peroxides. Um, and the other, last example there, it's a very bulky and over contoured uh, tray right there. Results that we typically can get with the core, whether you have tetracycline staining or not, we can get, as shown in the pictures here, some extremely effective results. Uh, we used to tell patients if you had kind of a gray hue to your teeth, not to be too uh, optimistic about the results that the uh, yellow and uh, darker brownish types colors uh, reacted very very favorably to a bleaching process but the gray hued teeth did not with the core system every tooth is effective affected so these are routine uh, results the example this final example shows uh, white spots uh, after the core system they, the white spots remained but the contrast was not as, as dramatic and so the core system, I think, is the, is the most superior way to get your, te your teeth white. If you want your teeth to be the whitest as possible, then this, the core system is the best method.